Hello fellow investor, welcome to a new video on my will strategy on XLF, this is week 4. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this is a playlist of video where every week I sell a covered call or a cash secure put running what is called the will strategy on XLF. If you want to know more information about that, check this video right here, I explain everything. So let's take a look at my Google Sheet file. Last week I sold the call with strike price of 47.5, I got a nice premium. Why the premium was so nice is because we were under election and guess what, I really don't know the reason, but I got assigned because the market has a bull run in the last uh, three, four days after the election result. So let's uh, switch now to my interactive broker account. I already put on the trade order. This was the call with strike price of 47.5. We see it got assigned one call. It means I sold the 100 share I had at the price of 47.5. If we go in my portfolio, you will see that there is no XLF in my portfolio. So I completely lost all the share. I mean, I sold it. I sold it at 47.5. But if we go back, we can see that I booked at 47. So I even get additional gain because not only I got my premium, but I sold the call at 0.5 more, so I get some extra profit. At this stage, I'm not tracking this additional profit inside the Google Sheet file, because if I do it, at the same time, I should track also the loss, which is not exactly a loss, but the potential gain I lost in the moment I sold my share because I got assigned. Uh, think about that. I had my 100 share of XLF, I sell the covered call with a strike price of 47.5. The price of XLF went much higher, let's say around 50, like today is 50, but I sold at 47.5. If I didn't sell the call last week, at this moment I will sit on a $5,000 worth of share, which now I sold for 4,750. So this difference uh, is not exactly a loss, but uh, it was a potential gain that I lost selling the call. This is the other side of selling covered call. You need always to remember that when you sell covered call or when you sell cash secure puts, uh, if you got assigned, you have a potential gain that got lost. You need always to remember that, uh, otherwise it looks so nice that you get the premium, but you don't see the other side of the coin. Before to go on with the video and now start to sell the cash secure put, because I got assigned, so I'm continuing the will strategy, I need to start to sell the cash secure put. I want to reply to two comments that I found under my video during the last few days. I put now on the screen. Is it possible to get assigned before Friday, which in this case this Friday was the expiration date of, uh, of my option. Yes, of course, you need always to remember that when you sell or you buy option in whatever situation, you have the possibility to exercise the option before the expiration date. Of course, if the strike price is triggered. It's very rare, but it can happen. I mean, personally, it never happened to me, but it can be a situation when the person from the other side of the option contract, because when you sell a contract, when you sell an option, there is somebody somewhere that booked this option, and the same thing on the opposite side. At whatever moment, if the strike price is triggered, the person can decide to exercise the option. So you need to keep always in mind that. The second question is a little bit more related to how interactive broker works, uh, also all other stock broker work, and uh, is the concept of the naked call. I will try to be as fast as possible and explain as simple as possible. If you don't like it, jump to the other section of the video. So if you have a margin account, uh, you can decide to sell uh, a call even if you don't own 100 share of the stock. What does it mean? It means that if you get assigned, the stock broker will automatically use your money to buy at market price the 100 share and at the same time sell it to the person who has exercised your option. Yeah, the system understands it automatically. I mean, if you have the margin account, you sell the call, automatically the system knows if you have 100 share means it's a covered call otherwise it's just a normal naked call a little bit confusing but okay so let's now jump back on the will strategy again now we need to sell a cash secure put so let's go on the option chain uh, expiration as usual in four days which will be on friday uh, 15 of november uh, let's take a look at the delta 
So at the moment uh, it's trading at 50, so the first out of the money will be exactly 50. So it's a delta of 47%, it's quite high delta. Let's uh, go with a strike price of 49.5, which translates in a delta of uh, 30%, more or less. And we should get a nice premium. So let's go, let's sell it, the quantity one, at market price, and submit the sell order. Let's transmit and okay it was done let's take a look uh, at where is it uh, let's do the one of today so we have no confusion so this is the xlf with the cash secure put with expiration of 15 november 49.5 price 021 so let's update my file 100 is a put this time uh, strike price is 49.5 with a delta of 30%, always, ah, sorry, uh, today is 11 November, 0 0.21, it's the premium, and let's take a look at the commission, $1.44, so quite an high commission this time. So I got, uh, let's say, 19.6 dollar so let's see how the things will go into the next week next monday i will record again the same video and let's see what will be the situation thank you for watching as usual drop me a comment i try to reply or on the platform or in the next video like i did this time subscribe to the channel if you didn't do yet because it helped me a lot and see you next week